Hey y'all doing? Okay, today we're going to cook this red snapper that we caught. We're going to do snapper fried light, which means we're not going to put any egg wash or anything like that. We just want a light crust. What we're going to do first, I got my nice fresh snapper sitting over here in the bowl. I'm going to cut into little pieces like this. The reason you want to do this, you don't want to overcook the snapper. You want it to cook fairly fast. So what you want to do, you want to take one of these nice big fillets of snapper, like you would do if you, let's say, uh, you want to cook it on a grill. just want to cut into strips like that there and then I want to just make a smaller strip we'll go right down the middle with this guy right here okay and just make it little pieces about like that and that's what we want to look for so we kind of put it in uniform little pieces like that there feel for any bones and stuff while you're doing this you know that you might not caught right at first and we'll just get it cut up like that and what that'll do that'll let it cook faster and it'll be real good if we want to put on a sandwich, you want to put on a po' boy, whatever you want to do. It'll cook up real nice. Oh, over here see. in the bowl, we'll go ahead and pour beer in there. We want just to soak in a beer. All this here. I hate to waste a pop, but it's all right. What about, does it have to be Bud Light or? Whatever beer you want, I'd suggest a light beer. I wouldn't do a dark beer or something like that. But that's going to get it good, just like that there. And I'm going to keep taking this out, cutting it up, put it back in there. Alright y'all, we're going to start battering this fish up. Okay, you get your best cornmeal based fish batter that you like. We'll go ahead and get your piece of fish here. Let the beer just kind of drip off of it. We're going to batter this dude up. Now, we'll get a few of them battered up. Then we're going to hit the grease with them. Uh, well, I just thought about here, when you're battering fish like this, okay, you get a nice little light toe to batter on there. Set them on like a cookie cooling rack or something like this. That way when you set it down, before you put in the pan, the bottom doesn't get all soggy and stuff like that. It'll, it'll give you a, not, a lot better crust. And you're not sitting yep. with extra batter in your Right. Food, you don't have a bunch of extra batter. That's true. So we're going to do it like this until we get a few, you know, a plate of them up and then we'll start frying them. Got these fish all battered up now and now we're going into the oil. Got an oil 350. Just want to put these little uh, fish fingers right in there like that. And let them fry just a few minutes so they start coming floating up the top, get nice and golden brown. Well, you see how they're going to get in there like that? With the oil just how it needs to be, probably fit one more little finger in there. And that's good. We're going to let them go just a few minutes. And I'll show you what they need to look like before we get them out. Something you need to think about when you're frying too is you want to make minimal space between your uh, resting pan here where you're putting the fish in your frying pan. That means less mess for you in the kitchen. You know, when you're dragging stuff, and I kind of made that mistake a minute ago. I was a little bit far away from the grease. But you want to do less dragging from here to here, from here to here. It'll save you a lot of cleanup time. It take no time for these to get up nice and golden brown. Like I said, we just want this snapper fried light here with uh, not too much batter on it. out here enjoying this red snapper. It's delicious. And then we're drinking some Miami Vices. This is amazing. Best fish ever. Got some fresh balls. Great. Oh, I've got, man, got this snapper fried up nice and light and crispy. French fries. We got some hush puppies. Got some of this frog bone tartar. I'm telling you what, you really can't beat no good snapper fried life. Mm, mm, mm. A1 stuff, y'all. Yeah. Fresh golf snapper.